Hello everybody, my name is Gannibal, welcome back for another video of Age of History 2. We're gonna continue this series, boys. We did quite a lot in the last video. If you uh, missed it out, go ahead and check it, boys. We really did a lot. Roman Empire is basically falling apart. It's been a hundred years now, ever since uh, we started the game. We uh, really did quite a lot. While the Roman Empire is falling apart, the An Dynasty is growing stronger and faster it's expanding in the east and over here in the west in the americas still undiscovered obviously by the uh, europeans they don't know that 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 is even a thing they don't know about that but uh for for us that's all the better because we keep growing the moment and we're going to be the one to discover them before they discover us eventually i got a feeling boys we're just going to keep expanding we we'll almost have the entirety of mexico in the modern mexico at this point boys so we're doing very good uh very good indeed let's skip skip uh skipping turns right here before that though i do want to make sure to get the 75 percent right here there we go just make sure to get uh, the mo the good amount of investments into my technology we do have some assimilation to do it looks like so the game does uh, does keep telling me to um, to assimilate certain people, which is definitely what I should do. All right, so we uh, can't really invade anybody, so we're just gonna keep that uh, those regular foot soldiers over there. Can't really invade anybody else, so we're gonna keep that as it is as well. Uh, right now, we just want to rage war to a couple of these guys when uh, when we can. I am gonna send an insult to these uh, these guys because I do want to eventually attack them. So we're gonna send an insult really quick next time we're gonna have, be able to actually get their provinces so what i could always do as well is these guys do they like me these guys actually like me but you know what i can do though because i can trade right i can probably try and trade with the europeans now i'm not gonna trade with rome or i could trade with rome i could like literally trade with them so trade request Trade some gold, provinces, coalition against uh, anybody, the non-aggression pact, proclaim, proclaim independence. Let's do a non-aggression pact with them. I think that uh, likelihood of success, there we go. That would be good. Military access, why not? Let's get military access on my side. I want to I wanna have military access. And uh, military access, there we go. Actually, get rid of that because I don't want to give them military access. Well, you know what? Military access on both sides. So if they want to come towards uh, the Americas, why not? Come towards the Americas if you want. And uh, get that. I don't want any of your provinces. I just want that, I guess. And a couple of gold in exchange. I can give you some gold. There we go. I can give you some gold. I'm pretty sure you're going to accept that if I give you some gold, boys, uh, buddy. So go ahead. We'll see if that works in the next, in the next turn. We're giving them a lot of gold. We're giving them that amount of gold, boys. If they don't accept for like military access and non-aggression pack, uh, I think they're pretty much foolish at this point. So they got to accept. So let's keep uh, going right here. 75% as always. Keep doing investments and stuff like that. Let's keep in turns. All right, let's see what you got. They rejected. Wow, all right. Well, they rejected my offer, boys. That's too bad for them, I guess. I mean, they are the ones dying after all, so... That's on them, I guess. We are going to send an ultimatum to these guys right here. Send an ultimatum. Boom. Just like that. That is done. Uh, we're going to do 75% like always. There we go. Investment. I wish I could go to 80%, but it's not letting me. Uh, for the, the guys that I actually am pretty friendly with, I mean, I kind of want to be friends with some of them, right? I don't want to have to declare war to anybody. I think I want to kind of be allies to the Iroquois. I kind of want to improve my relationships a little bit right there. There we go. Improve my relationships with them in the long term, uh, term boys. I think, it's, uh, I think that's the way to go, really. It's just improve relationships with uh, Nord the Nord Northern guys. Uh, we do have some assimilation to do once again. Let's keep assimilating, boys. There we go. I think, I think that's pretty much it. I think we don't have too much uh, else going on. Uh, this uh, city did grow to be uh, pretty big, so we can now give it castles and stuff. Supply crates and everything, boys. We can actually give him 
uh, a bunch of good stuff and all so we're gonna do that uh, next up though oh since we did assimilate them oh no no that's because we an annexed that that uh, country there we go yeah that's the territory that we annexed that's right uh, I don't I'm not boring anybody right there I'm gonna just send these guys over here these guys over here right right here keep sending them over the ports and that's pretty much it I think uh, we're good on that part all right you can see we're uh, starting to look very clean, boys. Very clean indeed. Uh, we can't invade any of these territories right here. Uh, I kind of want to, yeah, keep attacking these guys really quick. So I'm going to keep doing that, I think, for the most part. How about the Iroquois, though? Are they friendly right now? Uh, 0.6. I don't think they're going to offer, like, offer an alliance. Is, it's going to be very low. They need to really be, like, super friendly with me. But I kind of want to have an event eventually an alliance with the Iroquois boys and share the south and the north of America. So they can have the north and I can have the south. That would be very interesting, you know. That's kind of what I want to eventually do. So uh, form a union. Now, that's another thing. We could always form a union as well, you know. So uh, in order to form a union, it's like basically it's the same thing as Austria-Hungary. So it's two countries forming a union, merging their two names together, and basically become an empire together. Uh, but uh, that's never gonna work. These guys are not gonna accept. Opinion is kind of highly of us. I don't think it's gonna work though. And if I wanna do that, I wanna do that with another empire. You know, I would like to do that with another empire. So I would like to do that very much with the Iroquois eventually. Uh, trade request, we are gonna do a uh, non-aggression pact. Let's do a non-aggression pact with them. S send them a proposal of non-aggression pact. Let's proclaim them independence. There we go. There we go. I'm going to proclaim them the independence and send them a non-aggression pact as well, boys. That's what we're going to do it. Uh, that should work just fine like that. Let's skip to the next turn. All right, let's see what they say. First off, we do have some points to spend. Colonization, of course. Let's go for the 75% right here. All right, let's see what they have. So an insult to them, whatever. So they accepted a non-aggression pact and they accepted the guarantee of independence. So uh, now we're guaranteeing them, I think. I think we are guaranteeing them, I believe. So non-aggression pact and guarantee their, their independence. Yeah, there we go. No, they guarantee our independence. So the Iroquois are uh, guaranteeing our independence. And uh, at the same time, we have a non-aggression pact with them. I also have, I want to have, kind of do, I'm going to do a trade, uh, actually. It's going to be better that way. So just the military access. Medi military access for both of us. All right, buddy. And I'll give you some, uh, I'll give you some gold in exchange as well. There we go. I'll give you some gold and you'll get that, that military access at the, in the same time. So that's going to be go good for you. So, uh, Terrascan. I need to start insulting you because I want to be able to uh, attack you eventually. So there we go. Next turn, we're going to be able to do that. All right, so we're in the next turn. They accepted, boys. So I gave them a couple, a lot of money. And uh, we got um, military access to each other's borders, which is very good. So I'm working very close with the Iroquois. Eventually, uh, I'm going to be trying to um, be allied with them. But not only allied, eventually I want to be form a union and actually combine our two empires, right? So I'm gonna, I want to help them out, obviously. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the territories of the north, but I'll give it to them, uh, per se. I'll give the territories to the north to them. So I want uh, a strong military uh, friend. So I'm obviously not going to take everything for myself, all right? So once I get to the north right here, I'll give everything I get, I, I'll give it to them, basically. But for right now, I can't actually do anything right now. I can't give them an ultimatum. I don't have enough. Actually, yeah. Well, I'm supposed to gain enough points per turn, but it seems like it's not working right now. So let's just colonize the drylands right here. We are obviously going to get some soldiers right here. Get a port, library, and a supply camp, just like that. And uh, yeah, there we go. That's perfect. Get 75%. Keep moving right here. There we go. We're supposed to gain 2.5. We're gaining only 2.1. I don't know what's going on here. We're not gaining enough. We uh, still can't really uh, give them an ultimatum right here. So we're just going to have to wait it out. Uh, we are going to just colonize this place, I guess, then. 
just canonize the borders so we can get more soldiers and uh have a lot more territories expand on our territories right here while we're at it all right well we are in turn 70 so we're going to take a look at the world real quick beforehand i really want to send an ultimatum but before but before, but to do that i need just point one point more so i still can't do it still can't declare war to these guys uh what about being friends with iroquois right now we're kind of friendly quite a bit uh often alliance not quite there, uh, there yet boys if we do in uh, uh this form a coalition not really non-aggression pack we already have that uh what i want to do i guess well we don't have anything so we really don't have anything i can't do anything with them uh former union will uh, will not work i doubt it will it could work but uh, they have high opinion of me of course but i doubt it will uh happen yeah no i don't think so i'm not i'm gonna wait it out i'm gonna wait it out boys i don't want to do that just yet uh, i don't want to form a union with the iroquois i want to only do it once they become strong enough so i'm just for now get, uh, keep, gonna keep expanding i guess uh my borders so i'm just gonna keep going towards the ports getting more port uh more shore uh places for me right it's gonna be better overall just keep doing that boys and uh, in the meanwhile until i get enough points to actually do something about the, uh, these guys right here which i have right now there we go i can finally do something i did forget to look at the world i'm gonna do it uh really quick hold on boys uh we are gonna send our ultimatum to these guys first let's go send our ultimatum uh tell them give us that shit or you're gonna die all right that's pretty much that let's take a look around the world we are obviously dominating the entire uh, american land right here uh the next stop though is to take a look at the europeans so the europeans this it kind of stabilized a little bit i'm not sure because it seems like the romans tried to reconquer this right here tried to secure this once again but it didn't really work because uh they're beating up the frankians so frankia is getting beat up uh they're pushing back against the Fr uh, frankia but they're not able to put up uh, a fight against uh, Alemanni, so uh, Alemanni. So the Alemanni are basically they're already almost in Rome, boys. Two tiles away from Rome, they might they might pillage Rome altogether. It might happen, boys. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Aztec Metiga has been founded. Okay, yeah, that's us basically. Yeah. All right, so we uh, there's not a lot happening there. Uh, the Romans are still getting their ass kicked. These guys are not at war with anybody. Uh, these guys either so yeah aside from that nothing too much happening boys it's pretty uh pretty quiet right now all right so these guys accepted of course our offer so we can assimilate them real quick uh get everything in there because it was a former capital we're gonna upgrade it to the we're gonna upgrade it to the max that's perfect we are gonna give uh, an extra point that we got uh, for the colonization and stuff. There we go. We are not getting a lot of diplomacy per point, uh, points per turn, though. We uh, gotta make a little bit better with that. And we uh, got, uh, I guess I'm just gonna solidify my borders with this. Uh, these guys, I need to send them somewhere. So I guess I can send them over here uh, for right now. We're just gonna uh, focus uh, their eff my efforts on bringing back uh, where they are. Uh, I am gonna send you guys back right here and you I'm just gonna fortify you over there uh, there we go so that seems to be fine I guess can't get any other territories I don't think so at least right how much does it, it still cost like that much to get uh, colonization so it, it still cost me a lot to get uh, to colonize a place so not much change on that part boys let's keep uh, skipping turns right here all right so we're in the next turn again right here so you turn 73 let's do we're going to investment what we're going to do send this guy over here there we go and send uh, i guess this guy over here solidify this i think everybody's in their corners so that's good uh, i am not getting a lot of diplomacy points yeah that's not a lot boys so i'm not gonna be able to do too much right here i think uh how much friendly are we now with the iroquois which are now in Montreal, set up in Montreal. Uh, we're very friendly with them. Very friendly indeed. We got the non-aggression pack and everything. 
I want to form an alliance eventually, but right now they just don't want to, so I guess it's fine. I can understand why they, they wouldn't want to form an alliance just yet. And uh, these guys are going to be my next target. Uh, they're very friendly to me. They're very friendly to me, but uh, not anymore. They're not going to be friendly for too long, boys. I need to, uh, I need to invade them. So, uh, sorry about that, but I'm going to have to be super... Ins I'm going to have to insult you a uh, hundred times over just to make you unlike me. Alright, so let's... I can't actually assimilate. I can't even assimilate people. That is not good, boys. I can, however, uh, get the library right here, get the supply camps, and get the farms. That's what I can do, that's for sure. So we did assimilate the... Uh, well, simply to assimilate this place. I don't have enough points, boys. I can't do anything right now. We did get a point right here. Let's spend it on the colonization cost. Did uh, skip a couple of turns, boys, without you seeing it. Uh, it's just not a lot happening, so I'm I gonna do some quick transitioning like this, boys. Like the turns you don't need to see, I'm not gonna show it to you. Uh, we're starting to, to get some points now, once again, some diplomacy points, uh, which we definitely need because right now we're not doing a lot. There's not a lot happening because of that, so. I want to keep things going, you know, I want to keep expanding. I don't want to have to do, uh, to be uh, bored at all, you know. So let's keep uh, moving every turn, uh, just like that, 75%. Uh, yeah, we're getting points, but I do need the two, the 2.4 in order to do, assimilate these guys or annex them. Uh, we can't, I can't do anything just yet. Let's keep, uh, keep skipping turns. There we go. I'm probably going to be able now to actually get uh, an official territory once again. Uh, let's try and get that really quick. Can, unless I want to do something with the Iroquois, which are down there now. They're moving uh, quite nicely. I do want to keep upgrading my opinion uh, of them. So uh, I want to keep doing that for sure. Am I already doing that though? Yeah, approve your relations. I'm already improving my relations with them. So uh, I just got to wait it out until it uh, upgrades itself, I guess. So in the meantime, we're just going to keep doing uh, what we're, uh, we were doing previously, which is upgrading our tiles while we have enough points to, until we have enough points to take this. So uh, that's pretty much good. We're going to get the ports, the farms, supply camps, and library right here. Uh, did we get it? Yeah, we did. So really good, boys. Uh, let's uh, keep going. Yeah, I already have the 75% done to uh, done right there. Let's keep going, boys. Investments. I really need to upgrade my investment. Uh, investments. Uh, I really need to uh, upgrade my investment uh, eventually, boys, because it's not working out right now. I'm not gaining quite enough. All right, so just skip the turn again. We're now at turn 80. So we can take a look at the entire world, how it uh, how it looks, I guess. Yeah. I don't know how to upgrade my points, though. I don't know how to do this. This is really bad, boys. I really don't know. So military access, yeah. I re yeah, I really don't know what to do right here. Repay loans, take a loan, change type of government. It's going to take a while for me to actually be able to declare war to these guys. This is going to be a problem. All right. Well, in that case... Let's take a look around the world. Yeah, the alimony, it looks like it's basically a stalemate because they took back this, but while they were taking this back, uh, Romans managed to a little bit take a little bit back of their lands, homelands. For the rest, it's basically a stalemate. So uh, for now it is. This, uh, this got cleared up right there. It seems like the Parthians are getting destroyed by the Jera, which is interesting. And we got the Han still uh, doing their own thing. We don't have anybody really going into uh, into Euro Asia that much. So that's another thing right there that I don't know what's going to happen too much. Because if nobody's going there, what what are we going to do, right? So I guess I get, I got to keep skipping turn boys, uh, turns, boys. Now, there we go. Finally, we got the 10 of colonization costs. I mean, colonization costs at, this, at some point is going to have to not cost me that much. This is getting a bit frustrating, you know, I can't actually do anything. It's still 1.4, boys. It still cost me 1.4. It's kind of, it really is frustrating at this point. Skip, uh, skipping turns, though. There's not much I can do right here. It's probably 
a sleeper of a video compared to the other one the second one but you know i just gotta keep uh waiting i just gotta keep waiting and waiting i guess until i get i get the right stuff so uh, I guess I could keep expanding right here, but before that, I kind of want to secure my borders right here. So we're definitely going to do that. Since I can't invade anymore with my armies, I don't have really much of a choice but to colonize the old-fashioned way. Can't uh, get uh, any guys right here, so I'm just going to sort of solidify right here the borders. There we go. Library. Uh, workshop. Not really. Farms. There we go. And that's about it. The workshops and the sort of armory. It's all going to be in the other cities, which now that I think about it, we can get that. So let's get farm level three, a workshop and an armory over here. There we go. Perfect. So uh, now we're going to see basically next turn how much that we only can do 2K every time. 2K soldiers just for this one city. So that's quite a lot, boys. That's uh, really a lot right there. So we're doing pretty good. Uh, 0 0.4. What do we want to do next? I just gotta keep waiting, I guess. Uh, keep waiting. I can't really do too much right here. Uh, we're not moving as fast as we used to in terms of age, though. And uh, I guess it's fine. So we got 1.1 right there of things. There we go. Keep getting the investments out of there. So, uh, yeah, I can't do anything just yet. Just gotta keep skipping turns, boys. There we go. I'm, now I'm finally gonna be able to actually move... Uh, a new from a new tile and stuff i am gonna secure that tile right there so get that tile you are just gonna go uh, or go here i guess secure that and uh, we're gonna get the supply camps libraries and farm just like that and that's pretty much it there's another so also another thing i can show you guys once we well I, i'm gonna do it right now i can press this and the the turn keeps going you see that it goes up so i can actually do that that is a thing i can do so i can you can actually unpause the game and put it like that increase the speed and everything but i'd much prefer doing like uh for the turns i much prefer doing uh say i'm gonna do uh extra two turns and see if it works out that way actually oh i think it might work i'm not sure if it does boys uh, I'm going to do uh, 0.3 every time, though. Because if it does work that way, I'm going to do it. Economy, I need to upgrade my economy big time right now. 75 right there. I think that's what it, investment is. Yeah, it is. It's the economy. So I need to upgrade it. Uh, we're getting uh, a little bit more, I guess, per turn. Uh, there we go. So I'm, not I'm not sure if it's actually working out for the turns or if it's not. I'm not sure how it works exactly for the skipping turns, but... I think uh, it doesn't work as much as I wanted it to. All right, so we're in turn 89. Next turn, we're going to be able to look at the world, how it looks. But right now, uh, aside from that, we still can't do an ultimatum to these guys. Still can't do shit. Uh, for the uh, Iroquois, where are we in terms of friendship? 22 of friendship, boys. It's bound to be something, right? They're almost there. Civilization strength relations we're doing okay with relations though government where i have a different government that doesn't help that's for sure distance between borders yeah that definitely doesn't help but uh, i am improving relations still right yeah i am still doing that so i mean i am doing just fine i guess i am doing just fine so i guess now i i can just keep upgrading myself keep going to new borders i'm gonna keep expanding south uh though so uh, keep getting a bunch of new soldiers, stuff, and uh, new armies and stuff. Uh, a port, farm, a library, and a supply camp. Uh, there we go. Just like that. And uh, let's keep skipping turns. There we go. Just like that. All right. So now that we got that, we're going to do 75% right here. Investments. We need to go do that. So um, now that we got that, I think what we can do is... Take a look at the world. I can't do anything else right now. So it's basically we're stuck every time. So we're still dominating. There's no other people in the Americas. They're all tribal. So they're not going to do anything, boys. You can't, you, you can't really expect them to do anything at all in terms of expansion. Uh, but uh, over here, we're still looking at Rome. Still, yeah, it's still going to be pretty much uh, tied up. Do they not want to declare peace at this point? 
you would think they would just declare peace or something because at this point they've been at war for over 100 years almost 200 years they're still at war with each other and uh, you would think maybe they, they declare peace or something it's not really working out for them these two guys are really at war with them it's kind of a stalemate as well the han is not really doing too much actually never mind the han is now at war with these guys yes it is so the two biggest empire of asia the empires of asia are at war with each other who's gonna win it that's interesting so far it's them who's winning the uh, mongolians so all right we got a uh, mongolian invasion right here boys so we got some point, uh, points to spend i'm gonna spend it on the economy of course uh let's keep doing for this uh, going for the 75 percent uh what do we want to go for next i can't do anything yeah i still can't do anything because i don't have the points uh, keep uh, doing that I guess keep uh, doing the same thing over and over until I get the points to invade these guys boys I swear I mean I could declare war to them right away just attack them but that would be I kind of feel I, I would kind of feel shitty about that I, I want to have the points that you know I want to do the ultimatum instead because if I don't do the ultimatum I would feel very shitty to just attack them sim as simple as that feel like that's a, like a backstabbing move so feel like i need to wait it out and i need to actually get the only maiden done so uh i'm gonna start explore going north a little bit further though because i did do a lot of the south right now so going north a little bit more will definitely help me out so let's do that all right so that's uh that's done we basically did that let's keep exploring boys we're gaining a little bit uh of points we're getting a little bit boys so we're doing all right i guess uh let's uh keep skipping turns there we go all right so we're in turn 96 we got another extra point to use and uh, use it on the economy again now economy at this point should be a little bit better don't know we we still can't go above 75 percent for some reason boys it's very frustrating i mean it is what it is but uh, it is pretty frustrating uh, I do have enough points to uh, spend through uh, colonization again. So I am going to spend it over here, I guess. There we go. We're going to keep expanding on this border right here. Do the library supports as well and supply camps like the usual thing. Uh, he just keeps keeping doing the next turn until then, boys. Really not a lot happening. We're just keep expanding. I keep uh, skipping turns over and over again and uh, it's uh, we're going really fast like uh, going really fast around the turns we're going to turn uh, 100 uh, soon enough and we're gonna get to the 200 years right here uh, soon enough so we get an extra point let's just colonize this place right here I guess now uh, this place doesn't have anything to defend against so I'm just gonna go there we are gonna do the supply of course library not the workshop just the library and uh, that's about it we don't have ports over here all right boys we're in turn 100 the 100th turn let's see what uh, we have to look at right here after 100 turns first off though the diplomat uh, diplomat ended improving relationships so that's pretty much ended before uh, between us let's take a look um they do like us quite a lot 33 boys they actually love us we are very friendly with each other we're right there because we are very very friendly the problem is relations we're very we're too far away from each other and our governments are two separate types of governments so that's the main uh problem right here i kind of want to send gifts uh to them let me send them gifts there we go send them a gift boys just like that there we go gonna send them a gift and they're gonna be obviously super happy about that i mean i, I want to just help them out uh, help them grow a little bit what we want to do right here, I can't do anything right here. So I guess all I can do is just keep waiting. On the meanwhile, in the meantime, let's uh, take a look around the world really quick. We uh, have the Roman Empire making a little bit of a comeback. So it is making its comeback against the F F F Francia. So Francia was doing good for about 100 years, but it seems like uh, the year 200 is about to uh, start and it's not in their uh it's not going in their way in their direction same for the alumni it seems like rome is maybe have an opportunity to come back here even though they're they're almost they almost lost their main capital so 
that's pretty bad and over here how does it look over here oh i i would say it's a stalemate they're moving towards the mongolians move towards the south while the ants are maybe replying again so they're they're able to answer back a little bit right here so there's that boys there's definitely that part of it the, of the game all right let's skip another turn boys we are gonna save the game really quick there we go just like that they accepted the gift of course they did uh we uh, are gonna do 75 percent like always uh next stop so we don't have enough points but we are starting to gain points a little bit more points by the turn so that's really good let's keep uh skipping boys okay yeah so i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm gonna save my points right here so i can actually attack these guys in the next turn i'm gonna do it so spend those points in economy growth right here and the rest like diplomacy points i'm gonna keep them for the video right here so uh let's keep doing our thing right here yeah let's uh skip another turn boys all right so now we have enough points to actually do the ultimatum which is exactly what i wanted to do so let's do the ultimatum on them so they can actually you know give me what i want so ultimatum my guy just like that boom and next turn you should give me exactly yeah you're, you're gonna give me my, your territory good so they gave me my territories uh, the territories boys i'm gonna upgrade into the max of course because uh there are a former capital and they're near the shore as well which is uh fantastic it's gonna be a very strong city a very strong defense right here boys and of course i'm gonna get some soldiers right there uh might as well um fortify it as well fortify this place like that and that's pretty much it there we go pretty much that boys 75 percent right here please there we go and uh next up there we go uh, keep skipping turns boys almost there 75 percent again over here all right do you want to keep expanding north a little bit i think i do i think i do want to keep expanding north get these territories right here get the ports as well i think i'm gonna i'm gonna go over here i'm gonna colonize this uh desert right here get some soldiers right here get a port going get the library and uh, also get the supply camps of course all right so we can actually expand again now there is something a pop-up that just happened right here what is this non-aggression pack has expired with iroquois and same thing the uh guarantee independence so we no longer guarantee the independence of the iroquois which is fine uh, military expire will expire in the next uh, turn okay so i gotta i gotta um, i gotta talk to them really quick we gotta do our non-aggression packs uh in order to do that i think i think non-aggression pack we want it so i uh, i am gonna talk to them really quick we're gonna say non-aggression pack with each other again proclaim independence doesn't really mean too much so form union could probably work eventually but i don't want to do that just yet alliance we're getting close to it we can't really do it too much so right now i guess uh we can keep skipping turns boys all right so they accepted uh skip the turn and they accepted obviously the non-aggression pack so we're once again uh non-aggression pack with them mainly utility access we do want to have it with each other but since we're not bordering each other it's not really that useful we don't actually need it uh per se so we're not i'm not gonna force it for now uh, i am gonna keep getting these territories so these ports boys every ports that i can see uh shores that i can see i'm gonna get them uh, i want all of them right here boys there we go just like that uh next up uh, yeah we're already upgrading that let's keep moving boys uh, i don't really have a next target that i want to go for as we, uh, we get economy to the max i wanted to get right here so far uh yeah i don't really have a next target per se uh, i am gonna get uh that uh, border right here yeah i'm gonna get uh, that border right here and there we go get some soldiers in there get the port get the library and get the supply camp there we go just like that and uh, that's pretty much that so yeah i, I don't really have uh an actual enemy to attack just yet so now we're pretty much going to be at peace for a while which is good it's a good thing to be at peace boys for uh for a while you know sometimes you just gotta chill a little bit longer so uh i still can't get that gotta wait for the next turn and there we go. we're in turn 110 boys 
we're gonna skip one more turn because i need i do want to save the game but let's colonize this place right here let's colonize it get the port get the library and get the supply camp there we go perfect all right so next turn boys there we go make sure to save the game boys and uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna save it right here uh aztec empire really strong our empire is super strong boys i gotta look into the uh, actual board right here but it's uh definitely a, a strong as hell we're probably in top five now for sure in terms of empires we got the non-aggression pack with the iroquois we have a lot of stuff going on technology wise technology points uh we got uh, we're doing pretty good change like the type of government i don't think i want to change it just yet i think i want to keep as a as a monarchy we're doing just fine that way economy is doing okay uh so yeah we're doing really good boys our empire is growing strong we pretty much have the entirety of mexico now which is good romans making a little bit of a small comeback it could have something to do with the fact that uh these guys are at war with the alemany as well or something it could have something to do with that but um it's a clusterfuck right uh, the roman uh, the entire european landscape the entire european landscape is a clusterfuck boys we don't even want to look at that uh over here seems like there's a revolt the muscat doing a revolt against the Persian empire so they that's the last thing they needed and the hans are actually getting destroyed right now by the mongolians it's not looking good for them all right so that's pretty much that it looks like someone did go into uh your asia but it's only one little tribal people so all right and it looks like that let's take a look at the border leaderboard boys all right so as you can see we've got some new people coming by uh by now so we got the vandals in here we got uh, the swebby which are basically the belgians yeah we got frankie out of french they're doing all right they, they have 21 uh regions but uh, they're starting to fall apart a little bit the romans are making a comeback they're kind of the same as the last time last time we look at the uh, last video at the end basically the same amount of provinces it's definitely during the stalemate uh the mongolian empire has now uh, is now a bigger empire than the an they're destroying they're surpassing the an boys are destroying the ans and we are officially the fourth biggest empire in the world boys just like that already the fourth biggest empire just think about our one adrigia alemni yeah these these are really doing strong because they took a lot from the romans so yeah we're doing uh we're doing great it doesn't look like a lot right here when you uh, when you sit that way uh, but uh the romans even though they are the strongest empire they don't look like it right now they sure look like uh they're getting destroyed they're as destroyed so remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. see you guys for the next one keep it easy